came across an aircraft that I thought I'd seen all these variations of this type of aircraft, and I had not, obviously, because I've never seen this one that is labeled down here, CP Falcon 503. I'm Dan Johnson talking to Andy Aldridge, who's going to tell me about this quite unusual Quicksilver-looking airplane, but clearly not a Quicksilver. What am I looking at here, Andy? Hey Dan, you're looking at a... Uh, a total build this this started as as nothing and on paper and uh ended up making this aircraft so that it would be more of a comfort uh cruiser for cross country um it looks a lot like a quicksilver style framework um but we run tri-state kite sales obviously so i wanted it to be more of a flagship for people that uh bring their mx's over that and they say well how far can you go with an mx and i'm like well here (laughs) Here you you go. go here you go you can go this far um it's actually, I see an opening here, but it looks like that could zip close, so have, it, it could be a com- full enclosure it's front full to enclosure. back. It's full enclosure with heat. Um, <laughs> with heat. With <laughs> heat, yes. Uh, it has uh, five different fuel cells, uh, all full trims. Um, Is that right? You can make it about, about 300 miles in this aircraft. Oh, no kidding. The 503. And, and I mean, what kind of speeds can you achieve with this? Um, the top speed on it is about 93. Is that right? And I cruise Goodness about gracious, about that's 80, pretty fast. About 80 miles an hour. Is but you like cruise at 80. Cruise at 80. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people would say, all right, I see it looks pretty slick, but it can't go that fast. Quicksilvers aren't anywhere near that fast. Well, sure. they aren't, but this is, huh? Yeah, so I did a lot of development on this. I actually designed that whenever I was 20 years old. So this aircraft is actually 18 years old. This aircraft is 18? Yes. Now, I guess if I get right up close to it, I can see a couple places, but, man, it, is, it looks like I thought it was a new airplane, actually. That's why I thought, oh, they got something brand new. It, uh, Not at all, actually. I wanted to go through thorough testing of this. We're getting ready to put this in production. I guess 18 yeah. years. Yeah, well, I, I've changed. <laughs> a few things on it to I'm get sure it exactly is. like it needed to be and uh, now that i think i've got it perfected we're probably going to start uh, production on this before long a lot of pieces and parts here this is not going to be the same price as a quick no, it's, it's going to be a little higher priced aircraft but for the guys that still want something that and flies uh and acts like a Quicksilver, but then has a little speed to it, uh, this will be their option. Well, and, and more comfort. And comfort. If you're, Absolutely. you know, I mean, we're up here in Illinois, and parts north of here get pretty cool yes. starting about now and toward the end of the year. I test it down to about 17 degrees with the heating system, and you can stay about 70 degrees inside the cockpit. Oh, wow, not bad. Not bad at all. And I see, you know, i got to mention this. You even have a hat rack, or I'll call it yes. a headset rack, because yep, that's, that's what's in there. headset rack is to put all your gloves or whatever you want to put back there uh, and uh, pockets and that and gps's everything goes in the center of the of the yoke and, and i don't know yoke. if the camera can see it but on you what would be the pilot's right side over there right where i'm kind of pointing uh yes. that's where all your instrumentation is that's that's engine information and then the of course the dash has all the flight information oh yes okay and right. then above your head is uh, for the electric flaps and all the landing lights and ignition switches and start oh i see okay uh-huh that. Uh, well, and one other thing that's quite different about this airplane compared to every single Quicksilver, not including the GT series, you got a yoke in here. You got a yoke, and that actually swings out so that you can get in. This side opens up, and you pick the yoke up, and it swings out of your way so that you can enter and exit the aircraft. Well, can you open it up for me? Sure. You open it up like this. Okay. And then when you get in here, you can pick this up like this. Oh, look at that. The yoke gets right out of the way. That would make this a very easy entry. Because I'm guessing some people, probably like me, looked at it and went, yeah, it's you get in. <laughs> Actually, this would be a piece of cake to get in. And then once you, you're in, you just grab the yoke and you pull it back, and it locks itself back into place. Very nice. Very nice. Well, I, I see why it didn't take 18 years to do it, I know. But I see why it took you some time yeah. to figure all that out. This is this clearly a, not a standard Quicksilver. About a five-year project. Five-year project. Well, I worked on it with paper for a couple of years and kicked it around on what I wanted to use for an airfoil and how I wanted to develop that and, and where I wanted my engine placement. Uh, this is a little bit different design on, on thrust line situation. I made it more of a, a center thrust line or straight down the datum type situation because I just wanted it to move forward when you added throttle. I didn't right. need that uh, safety factor. Yeah, you didn't need it to pitch up for you or pitch, pitch down up. or whatever. I wanted it to be more of a, a uh, zeroed out cruiser so that you could get the speed and it accomplished it. Excellent, excellent. Well, for those that may want to follow up on this, uh, we're not going to give them too much information because it, I didn't even think it was a product, but it's going to be. So where do they find out more on your website? We'll put it up on the screen for folks. Uh, the nostalgic website, which this will not be on, will be tricite.com. But you can find information on this aircraft on uh, Facebook at Tri-State Kite Sales, Sales Hangar Talk.
Okay, great. That's a good place, good place to get both information. A lot of people on that resource. So I don't have anything about this one, but I got a lot about all the Quicksilver line, and now I'm learning more and more, and that will all be available along with a lot of other affordable, asia, affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for talking to Andy Aldridge and myself here at Midwest LSA Expo.